Boy, do I got something for you today. This is the Spring Bar Skyliner tent behind me. This is a brand new tent from Spring Bar. It is their new top of the line flagship tent. It is hot tent ready. It is big enough for families. It is fantastic for car camping. And I'm gonna give you the most detailed and thorough review you'll find on it. Here's what I know about the Spring Bar Skyliner so far. I was lucky enough to be able to test one of the first samples for field testing. I took it down to Moab and saw Arches National Park with my family. The weather was crazy. We had intense rain for a long period of time. We had crazy wind and this thing stood up to the test. After I got the chance to review that first sample, I was able to get just a regular production unit from Spring Bar. And this is a brand new tent. I took it home, I unboxed it, I got it all set up in my backyard. I seasoned it and now I'm ready to use it. So this is a pretty early look. I don't have a huge data set of all these camping nights out in this just yet. Perhaps in the future if you're interested I could do a long-term review. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see in the comments. But for the meantime here's what I like about this tent. Pros. This tent is weather worthy. I had this in wind gusts up at least 40 miles an hour when we were camping, it didn't matter. You might think that, oh, it's got a little bit of slack in the walls. You know, the design of the tent is incredible and simple, but it also allows for some movement in weather, but it's so stable, it kind of amazes me. It also held up really well in the rain. So suffice it to say, this is a very weather-worthy tent for all four seasons. Another pro is that this tent is spacious and comfortable. A big improvement they made on this compared to their other tents is that it is much more voluminous. The walls in there are almost vertical as you will see and you can really feel the extra volume and space in there when you're walking around. This tent is very comfortable for my family of five. We can easily have the dog in there. Another pro of this tent is that it is made in the United States of America. That is a rare thing. There aren't many outdoor companies that are still manufacturing in the US, but Spring Bar makes this very tent right there in Salt Lake City, Utah. Being made in the USA with premium parts and components, this is top notch quality. Perhaps the biggest pro of this tent is that it's so versatile because it is hot tent ready. You can put a wood stove in there. You can be nice and cozy. My wife just told me on our last camp out that she doesn't think we can go back to the way we camped before. And it should be said, that is a big differentiator from other canvas tents that you'll find out there that are comparable. There are some cons, however. I discovered when I was camping out with this down in Utah, when it rained intensely for almost 24 hours, that when the roof gets wet, the fabric sort of contracts and creates these ripples in there. Now, I reached out to Spring Bar about this, and they told me they actually discovered that early on and they've, they made some changes to their final production unit. So it's probably nothing to worry about now. But what happened is a little bit of water started pooling up in there. And after probably seven to 10 hours of straight rain, we started seeing a little bit of drips coming through. It was easy to fix. It's largely user error. You can adjust the guy lines. You can make sure that roof is more taut. That's sort of a trade-off you get for that wider, larger roof that gives you a lot more volume inside. It just takes a little bit more finesse to get it set up right. However, if you're just out there and you're getting a sprinkle or you're getting a heavy snowstorm or it's just a thunderstorm passing through, like 95% of us will experience on our regular camping routines, it's not gonna be an issue. You'd never notice it. So don't let that stop you. And I've only tried this once in the rain. That was one of the first sample tents they had. And with this new one, I set it up in my backyard when it was raining over several days. I did notice some of the rippling still, but I can't really say if that's gonna be an issue or not. So I wouldn't worry about it. A long-term test is what will really determine how water and weatherproof this tent is. One other con about this is that it is pricey. As of the time of filming, this tent lists at $2,099 US. That's a big chunk of change, but you know you're paying for a USA-made product that is top-notch quality. It's still a lot less than buying a tent trailer or some other fancy glamping tent. That's the trade-off. You got to decide if that's worth it to you or not, but admittedly, that's a lot of Benjamins to lay down. Uh, one other con about this tent potentially is that there's limited availability. It's so new and so popular that it's not always in stock on Spring Bar's website. So if you're interested and you see it available, you should jump on it right away. All right, so a tent like this is not gonna make sense for everybody. It may or may not make sense for you, but here are some situations where I think it does make a lot of sense. One, 
car camping families like mine. We do a lot of camping. I take my kids out, I take my dog, I take my wife. We like to be comfortable with cots and thick pads and all the things. And this is a great tent for families, even large families, up to eight potentially. This is also great for winter campers or all weather campers if you truly want to be out there all four seasons. If you're an outfitter or a backcountry hunter and you spend extended amounts of time out in the woods in the fall, and if you're just a Made in America lover, this is Made in America, you're gonna love it. And finally, it should be noted that this is a little bit bulkier than you're gonna find in a lot of smaller tents, so you're gonna need some extra room in the truck. If you're driving a little hatchback to the campsite, this probably isn't for you. All right, so let's start with talking a little bit about bags and portability. This is a big tent, it's fairly heavy. It's something all put together with all the parts, I think it was close to 90 pounds. But it's still relatively easy to pack around. It comes in three main bags. You have the big bag, that's where the tent rolls up and goes inside. It's good, it has one carry handle and then you hold it up here and you can chuck it around. Not bad, I wish it had one more handle maybe, that'd be nice. And then it's got this drawstring that you just kind of tie up and cinch it up with. The tent fits in there comfortably. It's oversized, so you don't have to work too hard to get it in. The pull bag, kind of the same deal. I could use another handle on this end. Got one right here, but it's easy to drag around and, and chuck around. It's simple. It's made of nice, durable canvas as well with some PVC at the bottom, so it's gonna last a long time. And then you have this little bag here, and that's where your stakes and your guy lines and things like that are gonna go. You could throw a mallet in there too. I also like that they give you some decent straps. These are nice nylon webbing straps with aluminum cams that make it easy to cinch up. Better than just having a rag to, to tie your tent up with. As far as stakes go, these are the best tent stakes I've ever seen. They're made in the USA of steel. They're easy to drive in, but they stay in well because of that V shape. They don't come out or move around easily like a lot of the, just the nail stakes do. The poles on this tent are mostly made of aluminum, but they do have steel reinforcements and key parts that take a lot of the load and weight. So on this upright pole, there's some steel reinforcement. Actual flexible spring poles are made of nice thick steel that's flexible alloy. And then you have the crossbar up top that is also largely made of aluminum with some steel reinforcements. So the aluminum helps it be a little bit more lightweight and more corrosion resistant compared to just a typical steel pole because even those galvanized steel poles will corrode over time potentially, especially if you don't keep them real dry when you store them. Great stakes and poles. As far as setup goes, this thing is easy to set up. You might think because it's a big bulky canvas tent that it's more difficult. It's actually not difficult. It is not freestanding, so you do have to drive stakes in the ground all the way around. Level ground is best if you put it on uneven ground. It's a little trickier, but I've done it and it works. So you drive all the stakes in the ground, you set those spring rods at the top, you lay down the ridge pole across the top and then it comes together nicely and there's a sleeve pole that goes over top of the other connecting rods. And then once that tension is in the roof, you just use those two side poles on either side. There's just one on either side and that is what raises the whole tent up. Then you can set your awnings if you wish or you can just roll them up and tie them back if it's nice. There's some other ways to set up your awnings that are pretty clever in inclement weather. For example, in the rain, you can get water that pools up right here and that can be kind of annoying. It'll also stretch your canvas over time, put too much weight on the roof. You can actually take one of these awning poles and you can insert it in this middle hole and then you just leave the other awning pole on the ground and you use the guy lines to pull these back and that kind of creates an angle, an A-shaped angle on your awning. I found that to be the most effective way to deal with the rain. Another clever thing that is new on the Skyliner tent that isn't found on Spring Bar's other tents is the ability to take the awning rods and attach them here. You put it right there, you Velcro that strap around it there and run it down to the ground. What that does is gives these big sidewalls some additional rigidity. That's really best if you're in like a very windy, windy conditions or something like that. You don't need that awning out but you can put those rods there and then you can even guy them out to stakes as well for additional structural integrity. A little bit more about that design. Now Spring Bar has been making tents with this basic design for over 60 years. That is a long time to be making tents. Jack Kirkham Jr. is the son of the original founder of Spring Bar and he's the guy that designed this tent. So he took all his years of knowledge in the tent business and he kind of put all that love into this little bucket. And they put some thoughtful elements into it, like these awnings. Now, this is an awning on the back side. It too has the ability to take one of the awning poles here and put it in the middle, strap it right there, and attach it here. And what that will do is add some rigidity to this 
whole side, then you could guy that out. The walls are nearly vertical, unlike other spring bar tents. It's almost like a wall tent. So you get all that volume inside and you have that flat roof so you can stand up tall all over and it's fantastic. But in order to give it the additional structure it needed, they put in these clever little features to accommodate. All this makes it just more comfortable, more weather worthy, and more versatile for use in more conditions. One of the most important things to me about tents is ventilation. Now you want to be comfortable in a tent like this, especially in the summer, because it will get hot and any tent gets hot. Cotton canvas breathes very well, which gives these kind of canvas tents an advantage. However, you still want to be able to get some airflow going through here. You have these two big windows on the far side and they let in a lot of light and a lot of air. You can open them wide open or of course you can close them up. And then you've got this triangle window over here, and that window also allows a lot of airflow through the other direction. Besides that, you have this massive door, and this door is just large. And what's great about it is there are actually two panels to it. And I love this about spring bar tents. It's not just one door with a window in it. It's, you've got your full, you know, solid panel that you can zip all the way down, or you've got your mesh panel. So on hot days, you tie back just that one and you just leave your mesh panel closed, which also zips at the bottom. There's a nice big threshold to keep, uh, I guess, dirt and vermin out. And then it's so big that it's easy to get things in and out, including people. This tent also has YKK zippers all around. Lastly, there is this little window, which also becomes one of the finest features of this tent, where you put your stove jack. But when the summer, when you're not using a tent stove in here, you can pull this panel off and it can be, it's just a mesh window. Actually, you pull the panel outside off and you got a mesh window. I've already hinted at this, but this tent is spacious and comfortable. It's just voluminous in here. I mean, I can stand and I, can, I can't even touch wall to wall, which in most of these types is not the case. Now this tent is 10 feet by, by 14 foot. It's rated for up to eight people. Eight sleepers in this tent is doable, but it may not be the most comfortable. Whereas if you have six, that's more comfortable, and if you're like my family, we are a family of five, this is our preferred arrangement. Let me just show you firsthand. We like to have cots, at least for mom and dad. Cots are great not only because they're comfortable and you always get kind of a flat thing to lay on, but cots give you all that space underneath to store gear. That leaves plenty of room on the other side. You also have some really nice organizers that come with the Spring Bar Skyliner. They can be configured in a couple of ways. There are these O-rings made of metal, uh, tied to that canvas tie, very secure. So you got two of these and you can flip them over. Then you have this nice loft. Now this is an interesting loft. It's different than any other one I've seen. It's basically a triangle on either side with a tie in between. Now this would be great to be able to dry your socks. The other reason I like this design a loft is it doesn't get in the way as much. Now every other tent that has a loft that covers the whole roof up here, uh, it's always hitting my head. I'm still gonna have to dock or move this to get under it if it's if it's loose, but it's not as bad as, as if I'm trying to, or if there's a bunch of gear up there. So I, I really like the design of this loft. Also take note, I am six foot one and I have plenty of headroom. Not too, well with this hat, I'm probably six foot two or three. I also really like the color of this tent. Now this lighter cover, colored roof lets lots of ambient light in when it's light outside. Um, this color is just nice to look at. It's pretty neutral, it blends in well, looks great set up. I also like these colors because they're gonna stay relatively cool in the summer. It's not a really dark or strong color that absorbs a bunch of heat. And the cotton duck canvas in this tent is made of, I believe it's a 10 ounce canvas on the roof and an eight and a half ounce canvas on the walls. Uh, that's excellent, there's nothing to worry about there. The canvas on this wall where the hot tent goes has actually been treated with a fire retardant treatment. So this is just a bit safer to use with a hot tent. All of the canvas is treated also with some kind of waterproofing treatment before it ever gets sewn into a tent. The floors are made of a polyvinyl or PVC material. It's kind of a light sage green color. It's very nice to look at. It's not as thick as some others I've seen, but it is seamless, which is fantastic. And speaking of which, where it meets the canvas, it's obviously sewn right there. This is not a bathtub floor, but when you look outside, one thing that's really clever about spring bars designs or tents is this hem on the outside. Unlike some tents, the floor meets the wall directly. 
This has this big hem out here and there's a rope running through here. So it stakes into the ground very nice and sturdy, but also that helps shed water away from the walls instead of just going down or seeping in. Even if you had some flash flood running water, you know, you're less likely to get it coming in through the seams with this design. When you look closely at the stitching in this tent, I mean, it's flawless. There's double stitching all around. You have these large hems in the corners where the biggest panels come together. I'm very confident that the sewing and construction of this tent is gonna last a very, very long time. It's also cool because you know exactly who sewed your tent together and who inspected it. On our tent, Jake sewed it and Dylan inspected it in March of 2023. I told you this is a brand new tent <laughs> made in the last month. This was filmed in April of 2023. And should you have an issue with a spring bar tent, they have a lifetime satisfaction guarantee. I know that they're great to work with. In fact, I kind of did a blind test. I randomly sent in an email to spring bar a few months ago just to ask a question of their customer service to see what their response was like. I had a response within 10 minutes. It was very cheerful. It was very accurate and very helpful. But on that note, you should be able to avoid having any issue with this tent if you just take good care of it. Canvas tents do require a little bit of special care. The main thing is you wanna make sure they are totally dry when you store them at home. So you've been patient and perhaps the best feature of this tent is that it is hot tent ready. And I'm not just saying you can do some DIY kit, put in a stove jack in the roof, risk leaking or voiding your warranty. This is made from the factory to accommodate a stove. And in particular, they really tout the Winterwell stoves. What we have here is the Winterwell Nomad large stove. In fact, it's the Nomad view with the side view. It was very simple to install. The only thing you have to do when it arises, you'll get this panel just solid. And depending on the stove you go with, you might have to place that flange a little bit higher or lower. They have a great pattern kit that comes with it, so it's very easy to do. I was able to do it very quickly for this stove. And mind you, the, the position is the same for the Nomad Large or the Woodlander Medium. I have both, so it's great because I could use either stove with this. Setting up a Winterwell stove inside of a Spring Bar Skyliner is very easy. There's not a lot to it, and that's the great thing is when you buy the kit for Spring Bar, you have everything you need from that fireproof mat inside to the stove, and then everything you need for the outside as well, including this flange, this baffled pipe that dissipates heat better as it comes through the wall. And then this cable, which is just a very simple way to add more stability to your chimney. There are also some hooks up there where you can run guy lines down if it's really windy. I hope you found this review of the Spring Bar Skyliner helpful and informational. I sure enjoy the tent. I look forward to enjoying it a whole lot more and hopefully I'll be able to come back a year from now and give you a long-term report. If you're interested in learning more about that winter well stove, I recommend you check out this video where I compared the Nomad to the Woodlander, the large size to the medium size. I go over everything and what works best for this size of tent. You can't go wrong with any of them, but you should really check out that video.